How are you doing, young lady? And I, I can tell you something else. Something else. I had an abortion two years ago, and I don't regret it at all. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. And what else? I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. I mean, we're being cordial here. You, you hear? Yeah, got my mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah, we're being cordial. We're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is that you? Just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah. Either way, and you're so. Kind of an asshole. What 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 makes me that? You kind of ruined everybody's lunch. They're like, oh, oh sorry. You took the cord out. Yeah, I took the cord out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike mic back. Please, okay. please give me my mic back, please. Please, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Have a have a good day. Okay, you're not stronger than me. All right. God bless you. God bless God. you. Hey, hey. hey, officer. This young lady went. She tried oh, to rip I'm my stuff up. Oh, I'm assaulting her. She's, she's assaulting. She's taking his stuff. Come here. This woman really walked up to this guy to call him names and then lash out and try and break his equipment because she doesn't agree with what he's saying. Typical crazy shit going on. I can already see where this video is going. Let go, my stuff. Okay. Come if on. I get arrested right now, I would literally Why are you laugh out loud. Like that? Hi. No, it's not. Okay, you should probably let him have this stuff. Can I? 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 Can we, we pray for the grace of God for you. Congratulations, you played yourself. Breathe, do not do this. Breathe, breathe, do not do this. Breathe, do not do this, you're gonna get arrested. I can, I can handle my own. Breathe. She got 23. What? What is it? Breathe, please stop this, please. Bring it on, woman. She really thought she was the main character that day. I got the guy in the background screaming, 2023 women when all this is going on when that guy stood up and had to rethink his life choices and sat back down he made the right call but she's just playing the tough guy card and we know if she did that to the wrong dude it's not going to end well women are something else you know i don't like to talk about them for long to be honest because they always leave me with a strong depression let's let's let's, let's keep going what do you think about how it's just it's just true i don't, I don't know i got my feelings I uh, thought there was a question following. No, 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 like, that was just facts. straight statement. Yeah, that was just real life. Men are the problem. Men. Men leave. Are men trash? Men or a bear? It's because a man done did something to her. A bear? The bear's not gonna... So men have been... Men are the most horrible creatures. All I want this summer is a man that has a job, works out, is a foodie, but also likes to have fun, lives a balanced lifestyle. So... He works out and he does his job and he grinds, but he also likes to go on the weekends. He, he likes to party, he likes to travel. He would, on a Thursday, stay in and we could order food and just relax, watch Netflix, do absolutely nothing. He randomly texts me on a Tuesday and he says, get changed, be ready by eight because I have a date planned for us. Where is that man? Because I've been looking for a man for that for this summer and I can't find them. Well, no fucking shit. And there's a lot of men in New York, okay? And I can't find him. But I also want him to look at me every single day and think that he won the lottery with me. Um, yeah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna, yeah, uh. That is a long list of requirements. And why is she saying for the summer? Is she gonna ditch this guy when the summer ends? So she wants a guy who's a grafter working like 80 hours a week. Then she wants a guy who's in shape. He drinks, he parties when those two won't go together. Then she wants him available four days a week to watch Netflix and chill and order food and shit. Sounds like to me she's asking for two different people. The only place this guy exists is in her imagination. And these girls will go online saying all this waffle and you'll say, after all that, what do you bring? And they can't even make your beans on toast half the time, so good luck with that. At this point, take take Father's Day off the calendar. That, that's it. Just, just just take it off the calendar because it's not a real holiday. It's not. But because I, I haven't seen any Father's Day brunch specials be advertised. Uh, I, I hadn't seen any Father's Day commercials. I've gone into all these retail stores. I hadn't seen a, a Father's Day special, 30% off your Father's Day gift. 
I haven't seen any, you know, Father's Day tote bags with all the nice gifts in them. So, so what you really telling me is it ain't even a real holiday. You don't even care. It ain't no advertisements. I can tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to go to any restaurant I want. When I was driving around on Mother's Day coming back from church, let me tell you something. You couldn't even ride down the street. The every restaurant was packed out. Every restaurant was packed out. So just at this point, take Father's Day off the calendar and then I, I won't get upset. I think the point he's making is society doesn't give a shit about Father's Day. The same goes for the month we're in right now, Men's Mental Health Month. You don't see posters and events and things going on for that. You don't see it anywhere. There's people who have used hashtags for Men's Mental Health Day, Men's Mental Health Month, blah, 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 and they'll get their videos taken down. So it's just another thing that involves celebrating men or being aware of men, which they do not give a shit about. If I am not getting what I need out of a relationship, I'm going to start working on my exit out. I don't care what you say to me. I don't care. Even if I make you feel like we good or, you know, because you keep telling me like, oh, don't leave, don't leave. I'm in my mind. If you're not making me happy, I'm working on my exit out because what I'm not going to do is sit around with someone and waste time being miserable when you know how happy you can be. She belongs to the streets. I'll translate this for you. If she says she's working on an exit, she's trying to figure out how to get some money or to plan it out so she doesn't look like she's doing anything wrong or set the boyfriend up so she's actually not the one initiating the breakup because if she wanted to leave she would just get up and leave so she's going to plan an exit out which is just in her benefit what do you feel is a decent amount to spend on a first date i don't think it matters what you don't think it matters no the internet is going to come for you heavily for this i think these these girls that feel like the date that they take you on defines the man that they chose they're full of crap it's absolute bs i think that it's a woman that's looking for the bigger better deal that has the audacity to say i can't believe you want to bring me to the cheesecake factory a lot of these dater dating scammers that literally go on a date every night just to be able to eat something you're lucky you're eating tonight because you probably can't afford to do it yourself these men don't give money, they give bags these days, and you can't eat that. So be grateful that you got some food. And be grateful that a man put in enough effort to take you somewhere. And that's the problem. I personally feel like that's the problem with today's day and age. Like, a lot of men are becoming lazy in dating. They're becoming lazy in the pursuit because there's no appreciation for what they do. And now women have these super high entitlement level thoughts that they deserve to be brought to freaking Bora Bora on their first date. And it's like, who are you to even ask for that? What value have you brought to that man? It's it's audac It's the audacity it's for the me. The audacity for and me. And on darling. top of that, you should want to be friends with the person that you're choosing anyway. If I don't like you, I'm not going on a trip with you. I'm sorry, but Instagram photos on <laughs> no. I'm not even going to elaborate on what she said. She said it perfect. You know, it's refreshing to hear from a woman. Definitely got no words for this. She hit the nail on the head. What type of music would you play in the bedroom when you were heard of? Oh, uh, death metal. <laughs> I need some shit they're screaming, they're talking about sacrificing people, that's what I need in the bedroom. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this right here goes out to all the mothers that sit here and say, why can't I raise my son into a man? I know how to raise my son. This is why boys need their fathers. What's the effect of a uh, boy growing up in a female-led household. Women have a difficulty being as, as stern with their sons as men do. And the father knowing what's out there waiting for his son, that other men will kill him, that other men will take full advantage of him in a way that a woman does not understand. That's true. The things that happen to you and I talk, we have never ever talked about wives. That's for sure. Well, you'll pull your son over and say, listen, you need to watch this. They can give you nuances. They can tell you how to walk. They can tell you how to talk. Put some bass in your voice. Put a grip behind that handshake. Look him in the eye. Fathers teach their sons that. I'm going to take you to get your first job. You show up early. You leave late. You don't steal. You don't lie. Do you understand me? If you don't have to deal with me. Make your bed. Do your chores. If not, it's going to be hell of a bit. It's binary. All the time. As he gets older, the gray areas can come in. And he protects him. Yeah, it's definitely true. And I think today's day and age, more than other times, fathers are super important not that they're appreciated in society 
And these women who complain about men are raising their sons to be the men they complain about. So it just, we just see a full circle. But all the hard work fathers do and the shit they gotta put up with these days, it don't go unnoticed by us men.